it's Kayla. Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, I'm sitting in the bathtub and I got my bath bomb box thing. <laughs> so in this video, I'm going to be making some bath bombs for the first time. Okay? And you guys, you're not going to help me, but you're going to definitely be here while I do this, okay? So I'm really excited and as I told you guys before, I love to take baths. I haven't actually taken one in a while and then the other day, you know, we, with COVID and everything, we had to come home and be in quarantine. So I was taking a lot of baths and I never actually used the bath bomb, unfortunately. I did buy this, but since I wanted to make it with you guys, I haven't made it yet. So now I shall. And I'm going to use one today too when I'm done making it. Hopefully it comes out good and I can use it the right way. So here in the box it says I have everything I need. Hopefully it has directions too. <laughs> I have the bath bomb mixture. It looks like I have another bath bomb mixture. Baking soda. Another bath bomb mixture. I have the colorants and essential oil, coconut oil. Oh, that's just cardboard. So anyway, single colored bath bombs. What else do we have? Single colored bath bombs continued. Multicolored bath bombs. So let's just stay with the, well, okay, we'll start with the single color. Oh, I need a bowl, babe. Babe. I need a bowl. Oh, where's the bowl? In the kitchen. You got a water kitchen? Uh-huh. So yeah, guys. Um, I really wanted to, like I said, I love taking baths and I love bath bombs. And I really, the main reason why I wanted to do this is because it's been on my mind for a while to actually like make bath bombs at home and kind of start like a little online business where I can like sell them and stuff because um I don't know it just seems like it would be really fun and I know you can make different shapes and sizes and you can just do a lot of things with it and I feel like it would just be a really fun thing to do and then I can just like sell it to people because it would just be fun so yeah hopefully I don't use all of my own bath bombs if I do make them one day <laughs> but yeah so um, I don't know let me know what you guys think about that if you guys use bath bombs or if you would try my bath bombs so yeah let's get started I should have brought scissors in here should I make her go get scissors on the box it said that it comes with everything I need but it didn't come with scissors do I need this let me see. Oh, maybe. Oh my gosh, they could take all around this thing. Okay, I can't believe I'm doing this in the bathtub. Oh my gosh, this is like hilarious. Okay, so now that we got that open, Create your own bath bombs and enjoy it and enjoy an at-home spa experience. Oh, I will trust me. Okay. Um. Oh, it says other materials you'll need: eight water, eight ounce bowl, tablespoon, teaspoon, half a teaspoon, quarter teaspoon, and plastic wrap. So everything I needed wasn't included. You know what? Let me be right back. Let me. You know what? They're lucky I didn't put water in the bathtub to do this video, so I'll be right back. Okay, oh, here we go. I'm back. So I got measuring cups. I didn't grab water because, like, I'm in a bathtub right now. And I got all my little teaspoon measuring cup things. And I don't have plastic wrap, so I don't know what I'm going to need it for, so I got aluminum foil. <laughs> Hopefully I can replace it with that. So, first, step one. Okay, I said that backwards. Step one. 
First, line both pieces of the bath bomb mold. Let me get this back over here. Okay, so I need this thing. Hello. Okay. Align both or align both pieces of the bath bomb mold with plastic wrap and set it aside. Okay, let me just set it to the side. <laughs> I don't know how this is about to turn out. So, um, then grab a bowl, at least eight ounces big, and pour in a bath bomb mixture packet. Oh, there's a lot of them in here. I just realized there's, oh, there's five, so I can make five, okay. So, so I should have grabbed scissors after all, huh? Wait. Okay. I don't need scissors. Who needs scissors? Okay. Did that? Did it say? Yeah. Pour it and pour in a bath bomb mixture packet. Got it. Oh, I'm not doing it on the camera. Bath bomb mixture packet. All right. I'm so excited! Here we go. Get all the mixture out. And I'm just gonna throw the garbage on the floor. So, I've got that in there. I don't know if you can see it, but I've got it in there. Step two, oh no, I wasn't done with that. Add two tablespoons and one teaspoon of baking soda to the mixture. Oh, that's okay. Hopefully, I can open the baking soda better. Yo. Oh, I don't. That's big enough. Let's try to open it more. Oh, yay! Okay, so it said two tablespoons, so I got one tablespoon right here, so one tablespoon, two tablespoons, and one teaspoon, one teaspoon, and baking soda. Booyah. All right, got that. Let me put it back in here. Okay, um, sprinkle the dried flower buds and use your hands to mix your ingredients. I don't wanna get all these things in my ring, so I'm just gonna put it to the side. I hate when I get things in there and then I have to like wash it out. So what do I do with these rose petals? Sprinkle in the dried flower buds. Sprinkle them in. That's weird. Use your hands to mix your ingredients. Dried flower bud. I guess I'll do one, cause there's not a lot in here. Anyway. So, be sure to break up any clumps. That's freaking weird. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to do this. Durr. Supposed to break it up and mix it in like that. Yeah. See, I'm learning. Pretty soon, I'm gonna be making my own from scratch. And I'm gonna be making them in shapes of like everything. All right, mix it up with my hand. Be sure to break up any clumps. Gotcha. Then we want to mix this with my hands. Step two: pick out a color for your bath bomb and sprinkle it into the mixture. So if I want it to be brighter, I'll use more powder. Now, if I want it to be lighter, I'll use less. All right, 
So of course we're gonna do purple because purple is my favorite color. You guys should know that. How am I gonna open this? Perfect. Oh no, 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 no. All right. So we're just gonna put, we're just gonna put the whole packet in there. It's just gonna be purple, super purple, okay? Yeah. All right, that's good. See it? Now we're gonna mix it, mix it, mix it. Purple fingers now. All right. Okay, so I have to combine it until the color blends evenly. Oops. Okay, the color looks pretty even to me. I love this purple, oh my gosh. Okay, step three. Um, now scoop out half a teaspoon of coconut oil. My hands are dirty and I have to touch other things. Maybe I should have worn gloves, but it's all good. All right, so coconut oil, how much did it say? Half a teaspoon. One quarter, one half. Half a teaspoon. And add it to the mixture. Oh, there's plastic on it. Oops. It's going on the floor. Okay. That looks like half a teaspoon. Now, how am I supposed to get that out? Okay. Let me close this all the way. to get this out no okay great um um <laughs> okay add it to the mixture and then add 15 to 20 drops i'm gonna mix it with this spoon is that a bad idea or a good idea Mix 15 to 20 drops of any essential oil. Oh, I love lavender oil. And it kind of goes with the purple that I put in there. So, yeah, every time I go get a massage, I always pick the lavender oil. So let's do 15 to 20 drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ugh, that was like three. So that's like nine, 10, oh, 11, 12, maybe. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 8. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, um, and vigorously blend all together for about two minutes. All right, so let's blend it all together for like two minutes. A little sweet and spice Throw it all in a cauldron Mix it up real nice Fire in my eyes Stir counterclockwise I dream of you all night combine your own fragrances to make like your own scent but I'm not gonna do that it looks like I've used everything here so let's see what I do now step four 
Measure one fourth teaspoon of water, then slowly drizzle the water into your mixture and use your other hand to blend as you pour. Now I need a quarter thing of water. Let's go get the water. All right, barely, barely, barely. Woo. Woo. Got it. All right, we got the water. So now we're gonna like do like this and mix it at the same time. Wow. Oh, it's like, oh, I see what it's doing. I know you guys are not gonna see it, but it's doing something. It makes it feel like sand from the beach. That's what it makes it feel like, like thicker. Oh, it's kind of bubbling up too. Alright. Now I have to vigorously mix it with my hands for three to five minutes until it reaches consistently of slightly damp sand. That's what I'm saying. Yo. I'm telling you, that's exactly what it feels like already. Like, you know when the the sand that's by the water, like it's wet sand, that's what it feels like. Not the dry, dry sand. I'll show you will be to me you're finding it harder to breathe the magic is taking over your mind entirely i'm the only one that you see i got what you want what you need okay cool so i think i'm done with that then do the dryness test squeeze handfuls of your mixture together if it binds without cracking you're ready for the next step if it still feels dry sprinkle another one fourth teaspoon of water into the mixture so i have to do what now squeeze it together if it binds without cracking maybe i need a little bit more water hold on this is like making a sandcastle at the beach for real though all right let me put a little bit more water I'm making a mess good thing i'm in the bathtub <laughs> should use the aluminum foil or not but uh I don't know we're just all right so I have to pack it into both sides of this bowl like pack it like really tight so that's what I'm gonna do right now yeah my god I'm so excited I can't wait to see how this is gonna come out literally this is something that I would really, really enjoy doing. Oh. <laughs> I made it move. This is the moment, no turning back. One drop on your lips and the spell will take effect. Under the moonlight, stay close to my side. We're burning so bright. All right, I got one side in there. Now let's do the other side. I guess I'm gonna have a lot left over, it looks like. I hope you guys are enjoying this as 
much as I am. I know you're not literally like physically making it as well as I am, but hopefully watching me make it is exciting for you. And maybe you guys will do this at home and let me know how it goes. Or maybe you guys want me to like make some more and get better and better so I can share them with the world. That would be so nice if I could do that. Because this is something that's like enjoyable. But I would definitely need more practice <laughs> before I start making like some good ones. I can't wait to see how this one's going to come out. So it says when you reach the top, use your index finger to create a small well in the middle of one of the mold pieces. Add a bit of mixture into the well and press both mold pieces together tightly. I don't get it, but. So I'm making a hole just to add more mixture. Like that. Now let's put them together tightly and now it says let your bath bomb sit inside the mold for a minute or two then gently remove the lid and the plastic wrap <laughs> lift the plastic wrap from the bottom of the mold to release the bath bomb oops I hope it'll still come out Step seven, place your bath bomb on a flat surface to dry completely. Then run a bath, drop your bath bomb into the warm water and watch it pop and fizz. So I'm gonna let it sit together for a couple minutes. I'm gonna charge the battery to our camera because we lost the other, the extra battery that we had. So I'm gonna let that sit and then I'll come back before I take it apart so you can see if it's gonna come apart without the plastic in there. So let's do that. Okay guys, I got a little bit of charge on my camera battery, so hopefully enough to do this. Are you ready? So here it is. It's covered. It's in the thing. I hope it's stuck together. I hope I did this right. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Alright, are you ready? One, two, three. Oh, it's not coming up. <laughs> what do I do? Okay. Well, you gotta take a bath with it, right baby? Baby, it didn't stick together. Oh. <laughs> no! What did I do wrong? Uh. Yeah, it's supposed to... It's supposed to be a ball. They're like hard on each side of it. And I can't even get it to come out. I think I should have used the plastic inside. Oh, half came out. Just gonna take it how we can get it, right guys? Right. Got it. All right, so we got two halves, and you know what two halves make? A hole. <laughs> okay, so, so we're just gonna pretend that everything worked out the way we wanted it to. Right, guys? You see our little bath bomb here? Awesome, right? Yay, good job, Kayla, woo! Okay. So now I'm going to take a bath, except the battery's still dying on the camera. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to stop recording on the camera. I'm going to try to convince Bib to come hold my phone for me for the few minutes that I need her to while I run the bath and put the bath bomb in there. So, yeah. <laughs> so let's go. I got to go get my phone and we're going to see if this works because obviously this part didn't work. So hopefully it just works when I put it in the water.
Okay guys, so I'm putting the water while I wait for babe to come record for me. I think I'm supposed to put the water first, but I'm gonna put like some water and then while it's still running, I'm gonna put the bath bomb in it. I'm just waiting for babe, I'm waiting for babe. Just waiting for my babe, waiting for my babe. I'm gonna be my bath. Got my baby suit in the bathtub. Are you ready to rumble? Uh huh. <laughs> Alright, let's see if it's gonna work. Mm -hmm. Am I supposed to be in the bathroom already before I drop it in? No, I think you need to be standing up. Okay, let me see. And then let it make, I don't know what, how it's gonna make look. The bubbles, right? Yeah. So I would say stand up. Okay, let me see. Okay. Something's gonna like drop this. But it, I'm just gonna drop it, but it's gonna break. It's gonna break? Yeah, because it didn't go together, so I'm holding it together. It didn't form a ball. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm gonna just set it in there. Ready? Go. Oh, it's working! <laughs> it's working! It's working! It's no, it's working, not. Working, working. Yes, it is. Baby, why you put it right there? So the, so the water could, uh, could like make it go. I don't think it's working. Babe, it worked. Are you sure? Is that how? It, oh, it is doing it. Exactly. You weren't getting it? No. Oh my goodness. No, but I didn't see it. I think the camera saw it. Oh, okay. Why you didn't just put it right there? I don't know. I thought the water had to hit it. No, you just press it. Press yeah. It. But it did work, right? Yeah. I but it's it a, why is it not soapy? Is it not supposed to be? I think it's supposed to be soapy. Okay, I think it's just so not big enough. That was my first time. Okay, so that was my first time. So it didn't come out exactly the way I thought it would. But let me know if I did it right or not because um, the, the, the water changed colors for sure. So that part worked. Um, I think it's supposed to be bubbly, so I think that part was a fail. It didn't fit together, so that part was a fail. But this is not feeling. I feel like I'm in dirty water. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching. If you made it this far in the video, then you can give me your honest opinion about how I did. <laughs> okay. So if you have any advice for me on how to like make it better next time please let me know i don't know if i was like rushing because i was doing a video or, or if i wasn't paying attention because i was doing the video or i'm just blaming the video and i really just suck so whatever it is comment down below give me some advice and yeah make sure you like the video and make sure you subscribe for more videos <laughs> bye